Hello, welcome back to my video. In this time, let's learn about cameras in Isaac Sim. We're gonna learn how to create cameras and how to modify camera properties and how to get images from cameras. Like we did before, I will explain how to add a camera to GUI first and how to implement it with Python code next. So all right, time to create a camera through GUI. Let's create a ground plane first. Create physics ground plane. And next, I'm gonna make several objects for a more profound example and cylinder. Let's change their positions like this. And finally, let's create a camera from create camera so you can visualize this camera like this one how can i do so from this eye shaped icon show by type and click this toggle button cameras and after that if you want to change your perspective into this camera click this kind of camera shaped button and cameras click camera the reason why here's the name is camera is because this camera name is just camera so if i change this camera name into our camera something like that and enter so now you can notice that its name has changed and let's click this our camera from this stage tab you can find translation and orientation and scale values in this property tab. You can change like this. So, so last thing I want to say is if you want to watch this camera perspective and this simulation perspective at once, you can do this by window viewport and create this viewport tool. And left one will be our absolute perspective and light one will be our camera perspective. You can make your own monitor like this. But for our next example, I'm going to turn off this second viewport and create, I'm going to reset our environment. All right, it's time to dive into our Python code. So in this chapter, I made three camera examples for you from this exact extension the python file you can look up and check out the, all our three examples so let's start from hello camera one save it and launch our example from as examples load balance edu example seven hello camera our first example is kind of simple you can watch this lead cube and default ground plane and you can find from this stage tab you can find camera which is made by python code and finally you can change the perspective of our simulation into this camera like this so how can you make a camera by python code that is the core of our example so let's dive into our Hello camera one Python file from setup scene function. You can find three main function. First one is add default ground plane and add camera and add cube. But I will only focus on the second one, add camera. Let's go back. From omni.isaac.sensor, you can import pre-built camera sensors. So here's many many parameters you can modify but i won't talk about this you can find the detailed explanation from this link so google this isaac sensor extension you can find this one here's so many parameters and please read those explanations but now i'm gonna just briefly talk about my code so i'm gonna make a camera at 0.0.10 position with frame per second 30 
and with those resolutions and those rotations. And after that, in order to get a frame of this camera image, I'm going to initialize this camera and add a motion vector to this camera. So after making this camera, it'll start to simulate. But this is the first example for our this step. Let's launch this example. So our next example is about capturing and saving image files from Isaac Sim. So this time I would like to explain Python code first. Because the actual example is exactly the same as before, click the Hello Camera 2 file and look up those two newly added functions. First one is set a post load and second one is physics callback. I have no idea if you remember about those two functions or not, but we already learned about those two functions in our first tutorial. So this setup post load will be executed just after our simulation loading and PDX callback will execute it every single simulation update. So set up, in setup post load, in this point, it'll make a, our local directory in your local machine. Look here, in this absolute file path, which means this hello, cam hello camera folder, we're gonna make a new directory for saving something, which is named images. So it'll make a new folder in here. And after that, every single simulation callback, it'll capture the camera frame. And every single 10 times in simulation callbacks, it'll convert our NumPy data from camera into RGB image and then save this image into the directory we made before. This is our example too. So let's command and uncomment from extension.python file. So let's launch our second example. From eyes examples, advanced edu, example seven, hello camera. Click this load button. All right. If you play this simulation, the lead cube starts far down, but in your local machine and your, your local folder, look at this. Here's are tons of images from your camera perspective. So yeah, you can capture the images like this. I'm gonna stop in here. Here's one thing I also mentioned about, look at this from stage and physics scene, scroll down a little bit, here it is. So basic frame per second in Isaac Sim is 60, but you can modify this value by GUI or by Python code. I will talk about this in the future too. So this was our second example. And now let's make our simulation itself more interesting and useful. That is our final example. All right, let's comment our previous example and uncomment the last example and save it. And this time you can see, if, let's launch, let's launch our example again. Example seven, hello camera. This time you can see a robot arm and a small blue cube and click this play button. And our robot starts to pick and place this cube. The thing is, if you watch our example code folder in here, images, you can notice that we are collecting robotic vision data for picking and placing. So for instance, this data set can be used for deep learning applications such as vision learning models or control applications like reinforcement learning. Let's stop in this step. Yeah, let's stop it. And let me show you more in dynamic way. Look at here. Hello, camera and images here. So like this, 
Now we made our own data set for robotic picking placing, which is sounds nice, seems nice. So this is our last example. So thank you for watching. And to be honest, I got a cold, so my voice might change it a little bit. So sorry about that. So the thing is, therefore, if you don't mind, I made a, my own buy me a coffee link. So for my fast recovery, if you don't mind, but no pressure. So if you buy me a coffee, then it'll be really helpful for me to get uh, my previous boys. Thank you for watching. And all right, see you next time. And Happy New Year, everyone. Bye.